What's up, nobody? Say that in jest, but for reals, probably nobody. But, um, so I was going to make a new character on P99, and it's on green at the moment. I was thinking about just recording the journey. Um, I got a bunch of friends that play MMOs that don't play EverQuest, or I have friends that play EverQuest, but just jump on TLPs here and there. And I'd, I'd kind of like them to see or to remember what old EverQuest was like, or P99. So I was going to record um, my journey and all that and kind of clip it up a little bit. So we are going to start a new character. We got Fatty Mick here. Fatty Mick Fat Fat. <clears throat> so that was a character I was playing uh, in the past. When Green was not finished yet. I think Green Cycle is finished. So I'm thinking Necromancer. And um, for a Necromancer, you got, you know, different classes. You could be a Eurydite, Dark Elf. You can be a human. Humans are generally maybe not the worst at everything, but close to the worst at everything. They can be almost anything. But pretty much close to the worst at everything, except for Monk. Uh, Kunark's already out, but originally Kunark isn't out at the new launch of a server, whether it be TLP or when Green first launched, Kunark wasn't out. And so you had to be a human if you wanted to be a Monk. Um, and I think it goes back and forth. Uh, you know, I Ixars have increased AC and they have regeneration and stuff, which is cool for soloing. Uh, but there's some sort of bare fisted. Humans have faster attack speed thing going on. So, you know, I don't know about that. So, anyways, <clears throat> ogres are pretty much the master race for anything that they can be, which right now is Shadow Knight, Shaman, Warrior. Um, I'm not here to debate what you should play or what's the best. It could be whatever you want. And for the stream, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Um, you know, I was thinking human necromancer at first. Uh, because I want to be able to do some quests and different things. And if you choose um, like an Ixar as your necromancer, it becomes hard to do a lot of things. It becomes hard to uh, bank and it becomes hard to do all these things, you know, when you're off of Kunark. So, <clears throat> Ixars may be the best necromancers, but we are not going to play an Ixar necromancer. Um, so I was thinking human, but human, like I said, they're not that great at ever anything. <laughs> their intelligence is quite low. And they're bland. But their night vision is absolutely dog shit. And on P99, um, you're, you're going old school, so it's really, really hard to see. And if I'm having a hard time seeing, the screen's going to be black. It's just not going to make for a good video. Um, you're not going to be able to see shit. So... Also, I'm on Discord with somebody, so we might just talk randomly throughout this. So if you hear me talking to somebody, or if you hear somebody talking, that's who it is. Um, so anyways, we're going to go with Dark Elf. So Dark Elf is a really good necromancer. Um, on the start of a TLP, or maybe when P99 Green first came out, I believe most people go Dark Elf necromancer, uh, because Ixars are not out yet. On TLPs... A lot of the times people go Dark Elf, and then when Kunark comes out, they pay for a race change. Um, so anyways, Dark Elves come with the second highest intelligence, which is just slightly lower than... Yeah, well, Yurt, I'd have... What's that? You know what? You could be a Gnome Necromancer as well, right? Yeah. Gnome Necromancer is actually not a bad play. We're going to go... We're gonna go Dark Elf though. Here's the other thing is I was thinking to stray away from dark races um, or evil races because <clears throat> uh, it's, it's harder to do quests and it's harder to navigate. And although I'm perfectly fine with that, like my shaman is an ogre. Um, again, when it comes to like making a video, you know, you don't, you don't wanna have these difficulties of being an evil race hinder what you can do in a video is kind of the idea. Anyways, Dark Elves, although an evil race, they're not that bad. 
that you can get around Freeport. So I think that's a huge that's a huge plus. They're right next to Freeport, which means they're right next to EC, the trade hub, East Commons, and uh, they can they can trade. You know, um, I mean, they can go into Freeport and you know they can do some Freeport quests or they can use the bank there. I once you get invisible invisibility, you can use the bank there. But your hometown is like right next door. I just think it's a good play. Also, they're one of the best. Um, you know, I did sleep on the on the gnome necromancer though. That that's pretty good. Gnome necromancer is actually pretty good. Their stamina is pretty low, but so is dark elf. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think of that. I don't want to be a short race though. I don't like short races, and I haven't really played too many neutral races. I just don't do it. Anyways, so we're doing this. So we're doing Necromancer. We'll go female. And uh, we're going to put our points in. What you want to do is any caster wants to be above 75 agility um, because there is a penalty of avoidance if you are below that. So I think the only one who starts below that is Eurydite or Erudite. Erudite oftentimes... Uh, depending on what class they are, they, they'll start underneath that threshold. So you want to put five points into agility. These sometimes start with 70. You want to bump them up to 75. That's not our issue. I am going to put like 10 into stamina because it's pretty low. And then I'm just going to bump intelligence. Um, I just call it a day. So, you know, I'm not going to overthink it or anything. All right. What have we got next? <clears throat> So we got to come up with a name. I'm not going to customize. That's fine. Graphics are a shite. We're starting in Nariac. It's the only option. And we're um, our DD is going to be the Prince of Hate. Again, that's our only option. So what are we going to name ourselves? Uh-oh. Names names is always something that's going to it's going to take a second. Um, so let's just figure something out. Oftentimes I'll look around the room. And just see what what I got lying around. But we're gonna go with MetaZoo. For sure, nobody has that name, right? For sure. You must now select a deity. You must now select a oh, deity no. character to follow. Click on any of the available oh, deities no. in the deity window on your left. The deity's description. Oh wow! I did not. I couldn't see that button. Uh, my camera was kind of covering it. All right, so. <clears throat> All right, so it's got my my key binds from my from my other characters. So we're gonna move a couple things here. All right, there we go. We're good and fine. Um, as you can tell, uh, my layout, my UI is small. I'll fix it up. Um, off stream. This first one, this first video here, we're just gonna. We're just gonna get going. We're gonna get started out. Kinda late here. Um, you may see my cat come through the window or something. I got the window open. He may come by. I might stop and say hello to my cat. Comes on in. I got the window propped open for him. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just get started. And then I think the play, we're gonna travel over to East Commons uh, because it's an easier area and it's full of um, of mobs, especially like skeletons and stuff, so we can get going on that. I gotta remember where I am. Kinda starts you in a random spot here. There's no map on this on this version of the game. So you just gotta figure it out. Um, it's always nice to have like a second monitor and have P ninety nine open. So you want to have like the P ninety nine wiki open. Um, something like this, and then you can pull up maps and everything, and just kind of figure that out. We're gonna look for, we're gonna look for IR PM. Places confusing. Let's see if 
remember how to get around here. I feel like it didn't. This is like the casters area, but necromancers aren't with the regular casters. I'm a little confused. And the uh, this isn't the necro area, right? This is like the mage and all that kind of crap area. Am I tripping? Hold on. Got to go around. The back, I can't remember. This is terrible. I should look at the uh, uh but right. I feel like we're in the wrong zone. Why, why would they start you in the wrong zone though? So, like, I feel like it can't be right. But here we can search, I'll show you an area, and we'll just pull up. They got the different zones here. So the Necromancer Guild will control find Necromancer. Necromancer Guild. Third gate. So here we got the Necromancer and Shadow Knight Guild Hall, which is number two. So it's right here. And it's in the third gate. So where do we zone into? We have entered the Nariat Commons. So let's zone back and see where that puts us. So, going to be number two so it's going to be on the left around the back okay got it now we know where we're going so that's something that you just get get used to doing so we go around this building so it did start us at this building which is what yeah it's like the cleric this is like the cleric guild and there are some spells that uh various classes share like invisibility, many classes have invisibility, but not all all um, class trainers will have it or spell vendors. Like the necromancer spell vendor might not have invisibility. I'll have to go get it from, you know, cleric vendor or something like that, or like bind affinity. Even. All right, so it was to the left, right? Can't be right. Again, let's just pop open that map. We went around the building, we went through, we went through a gate. We need to go left. Somehow. I know my way around the city pretty well, but I need to be reminded. It's crazy how fast you get lost. All right, let's see. The Maiden's Fancy. Where is that? The maiden... Number six. So, then three is Library. Who's in Excelsior? Number eight. Cuisine. This is bananas. If Maiden's Fancy. How are these right next to each other? But on this map, they're like not right next to each other. Okay, that's number four. We're looking at number four. Here's the door. You need to make a right. All right, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. But it is over here. All right, I know where we are now. Need to go upstairs.
not it. This is the fucking library or what? There we go. All right, here we go. Jesus. There we go. And to think I made a necromancer on uh Herodoon. <clears throat> All right. Now we need to go upstairs. Battle night dudes. So There's Why doesn't it fucking start you here? It's really weird. Um I'm I've, I'm a noob uh, playing too much too much TLP. Anyways, um, let's see where this who I'm supposed to talk to exactly. They do start you with spells. That's nice. Oh, it's so small. I can't even. Start out with a life tap. Probably actually building. Go ahead and just put these on the bar. Then we're gonna have this. I click. Hey, Zon Quexel. That's who we're looking for. The Tome of Discord. Going to not drop on the ground. Right. Windows are coming up in weird spots. Alright. Wait a minute. All right, so it's on the ground. So. Are you dizzy yet? Could be, so these are a bunch of spell vendors. Probably money. Here we go, there we are. Well, on TLP, it just starts you in this room, which makes a lot of sense. So what a lot of people might do at this point is just, you know, kill yourself. <clears throat> and then it will start you out in the front, but we're not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna do a couple of things here. It's gonna start you with dagger skill because it starts you with a dagger. But I'm gonna put one in one hand blunt. I'm probably gonna end up with a cracked staff, I'd imagine. I'm gonna put one in bind wound. I'm gonna put one in meditate. There you go, you got five on piercing. I'm gonna put one in sense heading. We're gonna put one in swimming. Some skills won't go up if you don't put a skill in them. Like, I believe sense heading is like that. If you don't put one skill in it, it won't it won't go up. All right, so now we're gonna exit here. Hopefully, on the way out, I can find my way around more easily. Okay, it's coming back to me. Famous last word. Me. Hey. Thank. We're not gonna kill ourselves, yeah, so we can keep the dagger and keep the robes. Killing yourself is probably more of a kill piece. Because your spit stays with you. No corpse runs on TLP. Kinda whack. I think I'm getting sick. Sucks. So 
So this is where like the bank and everything is. Where you spend a lot of your time. But the thing about being a necromancer <clears throat> is you're three zones deep in the city. So we start in that back zone. And this is the middle zone with the bank and everything. And we have to make our way out to the front, the front zone. Commons. Commons. Oh, it's just the foreign, foreign, uh, order. We're going to zone into right now. God, I can't believe I got so lost earlier. Crazy. All right, so now we're in the foreign quarter. Which is cool. If you're a human, you can go over there. Um, if you are an ogre and a troll, you got you got some friendly peeps over there. You're, I mean, if you're an ogre or a troll, you're pretty much friendly in the whole zone. But there's this guard that pats in the commons. You AFK at the bank. He's got a massive pat. Like, I don't know how long it takes. Could take like 20 minutes, but he'll come by and he'll murk you if you're like AFK at the bank. I used to live here as an ogre, and uh, that would happen. Learn the hard way. So what we're gonna do is try not to aggro anything. See, that's the thing is like the the dark elf starting area. You got. Mobs that are threatening at level one already. I suppose in the human area you do have orcs, which can be threatening. I don't know if the level one ones are threatening, but the thing about the human area is that there is just an absolute abundance of mobs. There's so many mobs. And what we want to do is the plan is we're gonna kill like fire beetles to get some fire beetle eyes. Um, we're gonna kill some spiders to get spider silk, which we probably won't get until like we're level five. And then we're gonna kill um, And we're gonna um Mainly kill like a ton of skeletons So we can get bone chips one, you want bone chips as the necromancer because you need them to summon your pet. And, um... Crazy thing about this server opposed to, like, TLPs is that every time you zone or anything like that, your pet dies. So if you zone, you gotta summon a new pet. And the other thing about pets, there's no pet window on this server. On blue, I believe there is a pet window. Or there was, at least. They still probably have it. Um, so you have to do commands like slash pet attack or what have you, we'll figure it out. Also, um, you don't know what level your pet is. Your pet has like a range, depending on what on here. That's for sure not a box. Happening. These guys need a uh, need help. I'm gonna follow. Gaggle of noobs. That's pretty cool. If like if that's not a box, that is pretty cool. Um, you know, starting out with like five friends. And not knowing what you're doing. Bears gonna attack, so. I mean, I assume they're going the same place I'm going. Then.
Maybe they're just going to EC. I think they're probably gonna make a make a left and go to Freeport. I don't know if that's their play or if they're trying to make it to the tunnels. Find out though. These fucking snakes are out of control. Like, even when they're a blue, they'll beat the shit out of you. They'll poison you, and the poison by itself will one-shot you, like, over time. Crazy. Day one. Coming back, got to do a good deed, help people find their way. Feels good, it's the EverQuest way. All right, um, so actually, um, I don't wanna go to the backside. I'm trying to think of the skeleton population in the backside. Um, on the front side, it's pretty good. Um, We're gonna even, we'll go to the front side. Backside's cool because like, there's less people on the backside, the back newbie zone. Most people are on the front newbie zone. Here we have all the trades and stuff. I'm gonna get my UI fixed up. I think I already said that. I'll just do it on my own time. Um, not sure what level, like maybe around 20 or so, we're gonna kill some sisters in Ocean of Tears. Probably camped pretty often, um, maybe not, but we're gonna, we're gonna definitely be camping that for a long time. I mean, we might even be staying there while they're green. We might move over to Gargoyles, but <clears throat> Gargoyles take a lot of mana and they, um, they're really strong. We'll have to see. But the sisters in Ocean of Tears are on level 20. You're, you're killing them and you're getting these swords that are worth like 11 platinum each. I have, actually I have videos on this channel from like three or four years ago where I, um, Where I do, uh, do stuff. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're killing stuff. Casting. I have my attack music off. It's actually a yellow. My life bar. This. Die. So, get out of here. I gotta get my UI set up. I didn't realize I was. Hey, buddy.
cat came in. I showed my cat some affection. So here's a, here's a good example. See how I'm gonna say bright it looks at nighttime right now. If you're a human, it would be like pitch black. Like you wouldn't be able to see this guy standing here or those bodies over there. You might be able to see that guy's shield flashing, maybe these trees. You wouldn't be able to see anything. So I'm gonna, I got my microphone in my way right here, but I wanna move some stuff so I can see it. Still in that group. Move over here for now. All right, we're not gonna worry too much about where things are. Deal with it later. Okay, so we do want to kill fire beetles, but we're going to deal with that later. Um, because they are green, uh, yellow, you want to con everything. White is going to be our level, and so that's what we're going to be killing. First few levels are so freaking rough. Out of control how bad it is. Crazy. I'm gonna die to a level one. Alright. What's up, dude? Got a bone chip. They healed me. Let's cheer. Hey. Thanks. Uh, thank you. Oh, a thorny barrier. Now we're cheating. Um, now we're cheating. Well, we're gonna try and cheat. So, like this dude's gonna kill himself. I have to hit him though. If you don't hit him, and he kills himself. The problem. You don't get XP. <laughs> so, the horny barrier is already going away. <laughs> okay. Fight something. Hurry. Alright. Hi, Bat. 
Ah, oh, it went away. Fizzling's the real deal, also. Fizzle. And you just blow your mana. Auction checker. Leveling his auction checker up, though. Oh, bro. Wanted this guy. We might get taken down. I have no mana. Oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Cards. Cards. Oh, this game. Yeah, so this is going to be rough. Um, just the way it is. These are the spells we have. Don't have a bag or anything. Um, you know, it's just the way it is. I'm going to see if Boomba will sell to us. Balls. Boomba sells to us. No, he doesn't because he's a traitor. Um, okay. Let's just get up. Dark Elves, have your own. Ready? That a cloth neck piece? We're talking. You got a ration? Almost level two. Falling out of control. Dirty rat. Oh, that guy's twinked out. Wasting my mana. Down with his like rusty. Skeletons seem to slap for sure. I fizzled now, I don't have enough mana. Yeah. So this is the play. So we got three bone chips. Um, now the quest requires four bone chips. We can get spells that we need. I think they want. I think she wants four of everything. So four fire beetle eyes, which we can get off of these guys um, once we're able to kill them. They're yellows right now. Um, and then spider silk, spider ling silk, which we'll get in the next zone over the one we just came from.
So first things first, farm a bunch of bone chips. One is going to be a way to get XP, so we'll be able to blast through these levels. And then two, we need them for our pets. Three, we're going to get spells from it. I think four fire beetle eyes gets us a, a next pet. Exhilarating gameplay, for sure. Wow, that costs a lot of fucking mana, dude. Got our rusty mace. I don't know if we could take one without... Good thing about killing skeletons is that they drop armor as well. So, like, essentially, <clears throat> we can get an entire set of cloth bit armor. first I'd say at least the first 10 levels probably the first 12 levels are gonna be so rough that's just how it is it's gonna be so freaking rough we're gonna try to get our first level here all right we just need one more kill anything what we're really looking for though is a skeleton holding a staff now it could be a crack staff or it could be horn staff or something I want it to be the crack staff those are those sell for a, a platinum eat We don't have our skin on. It worked. So we'll see if this guy will vend to us, but probably not, I guess. Right. Um, so that's going to be like, you know, an issue. Um, but I do know of a vendor that will sell to us. But they are not um, on this side. They're the other zone around. We're going to have to enter the city. Not, not convenient. Well, I'm out, man. Have a good night. All right, man. See you later. Um, we're gonna have to get ourselves a bag. Oh, this guy's fucking me up. She's probably wearing one right now. Alright, so we made our character. We got over here. Got our first level. Um, what I'll probably do is set up like the UI a little bit. I mean, it's going to look just like this. I'm just going to move stuff around a little bit, get some more chat screens in there. Um, and then uh, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll farm a little bit, farm some skeletons, and get some bone chips, or maybe I'll just turn back on the video. I'm not sure what I'll do. Figure it out. Um, I was thinking about pausing here and there, 
obviously I'm not gonna have like a hundred percent of the game the gameplay because they're you know it's repetitive um, but try to skip around you know go with the leveling the dinging of levels stuff like that I don't know we'll see I have other characters to play as well like I have that 40 shaman and I have uh, got like a 53 bard on blue that we can check out although I haven't I haven't uh, like uh, you know swarm kited or whatever what I was doing with the bard was just hiding zones I, mean, I haven't done that in years so I'd have to practice that anyways cool so we're just gonna call it there Where are we at like 45 minutes so that's good and then um, it's actually late and I'm tired so sleep and then um, I think I'm gonna to push and try to get uh, another video like tomorrow we'll get to like level five or probably like level six maybe in the next next installment see ya